dear everyone whenever you are whenever you are uh, colleagues uh, brothers sisters friends good morning good afternoon good evening hi everything last time we spoke about ramadan and what ramadan gives us ramadan ended maybe yesterday how can we receive eid inshallah let us imagine that we receive eid as this very wealthy individual when he found the safes of his treasure is full with different goodness different blessings different rewards because during ramadan he or she were so obedient to allah in their fasting and they became like this good man or good woman who utilized every second in ramadan to keep filling the safes of the treasure with all these good action so he will come out or she will come out on the eighth day with what with what i'm going to talk about today actually about Eid. many many characteristics will uh, will approach many many different energies renewable energies multiple energies diverse energies in different direction he or she will win the ones the word ones in arabic language i don't know how can it translate into english language you have to be very intimate close to allah they the slave and his or her lord will be so in the status of this kind of intimacy of love of dreaming together this is actually the first thing we we'll feel at the day of eid that we came out with this energy second point we got out of energy with actually new friends that will meet every day in the mosque new angels that walk with us to protect us at night when we go to the mosque to pray and to come back and when we read quran or when we listen to quran or when we listen to recitation or when we listen to actually to uh, uh classes uh, lessons uh, advices in, in the mosque we come out with this energy with new things that we're doing we never used to do it before one of them is number one is going to the mosque regularly every day second point second one is praying jama'ah quite often outside ramadan we don't pray jama'ah in the mosque number three is praying the tahajjud whether in the mosque or individual as or a group Number four is i'tikaf in the last days of Ramadan. Number five is to complete the Quran, uh, recitation of the Quran once or twice or three times. Sometimes people make it ten times or more. Number five, listening to uh, advices and uh, uh, in, in the mosque. Number uh, uh, seven is mixing with people and showing them the best of our manner because this came from the treasures that we have in our hearts number uh, uh, eight is to look deeply into the meaning of the quran and the magnificence of the creation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in ourselves and the surrounding number nine challenge is how can we maintain the atmosphere of ramadan after ramadan in our houses and in our relationship with our relatives, our neighbors, our friends, and, and, and. Number 10 is our souls were flying high when we were listening to the stories of the great companion of the Prophet Sallallahu of the great prophets and messenger of Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala, and we were dreaming to be amongst them at their time. Number 11, we feel that we have been born again or reborn again because ramadan has charged us 
So it became a different individuals at the time of Eid. With this energy, renewable energy, multiple energy, and characteristic, new characteristics that we got in Ramadan who are new, the born Muslims. Number uh, 12 is we will be the people who have the upper hand. Allah used to fill our treasure, our, our safes with treasure, but now from this treasure we have to give out to the other people. After Ramadan, we have to keep guiding the people as Allah has guided us during Ramadan. After Ramadan, we have to be forgiving the people and forgiving their mistakes after Allah has been forgiving all our mistakes during Ramadan. Number 15 or 16, we have to cover up the mistakes or the sins of our brothers and sisters because Allah has covered us for us, our mistakes and sins during the month of Ramadan. Number uh, 16, to visit our relatives, especially from our mothers, our grandparents, our aunties, our uncles, our nephews, our nieces, and, 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 and. Number 16 or 17, they need to be very keen to have this very good relationship of our, with our neighbors, with our friends, with our colleagues, with our relatives. Number 18 or 19 is thanking those who taught us in the primary school, in the secondary school, in the university, and so on, and thanking the friends of our parents and connecting with them because this make our parents happy and good but the last and not least is to implement the different pillars or principles of the social message of khadija what is this social message of khadija is when the prophet came back to her after angel jibreel came to him in, in the Ghar Hira and he revealed the Quran to him, he was in a state of shock. Muhammad, read, said, I can't read. Read, I can't read, read, I can't read. And he started to reveal Quran of him. He never saw the angel before. So he was shocked and they came back running. To whom? To the house, to the supporter, to the friend to the colleague, to the wife. And they're telling her um, what he told her. Uh, I was afraid for myself. She told him, Allah, no, 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 no. Allah will never, ever let you down, Ya Muhammad. And she laid the principles of Khadija, seven principles. Seven principles. The first one is the first one is is you connect and communicate with your rahim. That's the rahim. Second one is you are always trustworthy, saying the truth. Third one is you support the the, the weak ones. Fourth one is to empower the people who cannot earn their living. Fifth one is you are very generous to your guests. Number six, you are supporting the people who are having disasters. Number seven is to add the amana. Add the amana is actually uh, fulfill your duty towards Allah and towards the community. Let me say it again and again and again. And this is for everyone. This is for everyone, brothers and sisters. I'm just yani, using my body language to keep you focused. Just please hold on. What we call it the message, the, the social message of Khadija for the humanitarian and social workers based on seven principles. First principle is for your family. And for a small family or big family, which is to be looking after them, 
صلة الرحم نمبر تو in the principles of your work with the community as a social worker or a material worker is to be honest and trustworthy and saying the truth that's why that's why Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم was called الصادق الأمين before Islam that's what he told them number three is تحمل الكل and this is the one to support the one who cannot earn his living الضعيف to keep supporting him and there number four is تكسب المعدوم and this is a community work you are responsible for empowering the weak the poor the orphan and the widows and this is what to call it nowadays empowerment empowerment mentioned community empowerment mentioned by Khadija 14 and 40 1400 and 45 years ago number number five is to be very generous with anybody to come to you whether he is Muslim or she is Muslims or not she said be generous you were generous with everyone she did not mention Khadija as a wise learned woman from her experience you are generous to everybody number six supporting people when they are tested by disaster lost their businesses lost their families lost everything number seven is always fulfill your duty towards Allah toward the community and toward your family these seven principles I called it the message of social responsibility of Khadija listen to her before Cambridge or Oxford, or Harvard, or Glasgow, or London universities came out, or Cairo University, or others. Khadija's message of social responsibility. That's what she told Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he, the Quran was revealed to him in Ramadan, by Jibreel Alayhi Salaam. Huh? And she supported him, actually, and told him, no, whoever, amongst us male and female young or old black or white short or tall african or european american or asian latin american or or from some other some part different parts of the world if you want to adhere to the social community work or to the tumor and developmental work you have to adhere to the seven principles of the social message of Khadija. May Allah be pleased with her. And this is what we take out from Ramadan and to spend from the first day of Eid till the first day of Ramadan afterwards. Jazakumullah khair wa assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.